My wife and I are trying to have a baby. If I take testosterone, will it improve my fertility? To help answer this question, joining us via Skype, board certified urologist and author of The Penis Book, Dr. Aaron Spitz That's himself. Oh, good to be here with you all. Welcome, you. welcome. So, Dr. Spitz, will testosterone help in this scenario? Well, when it comes to sperm production, taking testosterone is about as helpful as cutting off your own testicles. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, Let me explain I, why. I guess that's a no. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's a big no. As you know, the testicles are where the sperm are produced, and it's also where testosterone is produced. But the testicles are under the control of the pituitary gland, which is a, a little pea-sized gland right in the center of your brain, right behind your eyeballs. If you shoved a pencil up your nose, you'd run right into it. And the pituitary gland is secreting a hormone that stimulates the testicles to make their own testosterone and sperm. And they're kind of like the annoying kids in the backseat going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Because it's sensing, do we have enough testosterone? Do we have enough sperm? And if we don't, it secretes more until there's enough. Now, when you give yourself testosterone, through an injection or a cream or an implant or a pill, any, any form of testosterone coming in, it tricks the pituitary and it makes it shut up because yeah, now we're there. And if you keep giving yourself testosterone, the pituitary stays shut up, doesn't stimulate the testicles to make any more of its own sperm and the sperm production shuts off. So my guys coming in to see me who are on testosterone, doesn't matter if it's a gel, doesn't matter if it's a shot, they're shooting blanks. But the good news is, is reversible. If you stop the testosterone, everything comes back up, that little pituitary gland starts secreting its signal, and you get back on track, but it can take several months. Well, what can you do to improve the quality of your swimmers then? <laughs> Backstroke? Well, <laughs> very grateful. Very grateful. Well, you know what? Uh, it starts with uh, lifestyle and nutrition. Uh, exercise, a healthy diet that really emphasizes produce, now, there are some situations that a guy just can't help, no matter how healthy you are. They are born with conditions, or they develop conditions. One of the most common conditions is called varicoceles. And this is where you have an excess amount of veins around the testicles, and you're just programmed to get these. There's nothing you do that causes it. It's not like a hernia. And these veins make the temperature around the testicles just a little too warm. It decreases the sperm production, and it can decrease the testosterone. So if a guy's got low sperm count and low testosterone, he needs to get checked out. He might have varicoceles, and guess what? They can be surgically corrected, and he can be restored back to normal. So I, I do like that we're addressing male infertility, though, because a lot of times people will assume that infertility is a female issue, but in all actuality, about a third of the time it's female, a third of the time it's male, and a third of the time it's a combination of both, or we don't quite know. And if you are having an infertility workup, one of the first things we will recommend is a semen analysis. So just keep that in mind. Great point. Dr. Levi, I just have a question for you also. You know, in my practice here in L.A., I take care of a lot of bodybuilders, professional bodybuilders, and many of them will go through extraordinary challenges with trying to actually conceive with their, with their wives because, because of low sperm count, or often basically no sperm count at all. When they stop yeah. that, we see a reversal, but it actually takes a while. What have you seen with respect to the timeline to have your body stop that negative feedback loop and have the pituitary gland increase the testosterone Good question. in the body? what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. See, the thing about these bodybuilders is they juice to a point where their testosterone levels are multiples higher than normal. Thousands if I have a patient with low testosterone and I put him on it and bring him up to normal levels and I stop it, his sperm will come back within a few months. But with these guys, it may never come back, or if it does, it may take a year or two, and it may come back to very, very minimal levels where they still require in vitro fertility, for example. Wow. So you really can push it too hard and you can push it past the point of return.